So we have just spent the better part of a month in England, and while we were there, we discovered some sweets that we do not have in America. So today, we are here with our American friends, and we're gonna give some of these sweets a try for the very first time. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> the one that I'm the most curious about is this one that's called the Parma Violet. And the main question I have is, who's been eating violets? Who, who said, I'm gonna go eat a violet and put this into a candy? Oh, okay. I'm curious and scared to try these. Okay, everybody grab a violet. Oh. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought. Oh. Okay. It's like eating the Tums. Very much like the Tums. They do have a bit of a floral taste to them. That's really interesting. Definitely the consistency of a Smartie. Oh. Ooh, I like it. With a little bit of a floral aftertaste. Yeah. It's like lavender. It tastes like a lavender air freshener. That's how I describe it. <laughs> I feel like the longer it sits in your mouth, the grosser it is. <laughs> but my question still stands. Who went outside and ate a violet and said, hmm, I'm gonna put that flavor into a that candy? For lungs and candy. <laughs> Our next Humbugs. one, the mint. Humbugs. So I've heard this one is actually mentioned in Harry Potter. Yeah, the feast. He describes all the foods and for some reason. This is the only one that Harry doesn't eat. Huh. <laughs> Does that mean it's not good? I think we should give it a try and try it for ourselves. This looks like the kind of candy that you might see like in Grandma's candy jar if you go visit Grandma. That's what they yeah. remind me of. Yeah. Everyone, grab a humbug, grab a humbug. Humbugs for all. What is it? It says it's mint, but it looks like it should be toffee. Oh, it is mint. Oh, they are mint. So my question is if they're mint flavored, why are they brown and it not like cream? It has a toffee cream. Oh, they have a toffee center. So you're supposed to chew it. Is it like soft on the inside? Peppermint. Yeah, mint flavor sweets with a chewy toffee center. All right, so I'm gonna have to bite this thing and taste the center because I haven't fully tasted it. I wonder if it's toffee. Mean... Ah. I like it. <laughs> that is, I got the chewy center. Oh, me too. The center has like a consistency of taffy. I almost just spit out of his nose. What is that, Daddy? <laughs> Center doesn't really taste very toffee-ish. It is chewy, but I'm not tasting toffee. Kind of like a salted potato. It tastes faint because the mint is so Yeah, the mint is overpowering. Hi. <laughs> we have an adorable baby right here to the side. If you guys hear some <laughs> cavernous. Candy in front of <laughs> They're not bad, but the mint is very overpowering. That's a very, very minty candy. Am I right in guessing that this is like grandma's house candy? Is this what you yeah. would see in the candy jar if you go to grandma's house? Because that's what I think they are. It's not a go-to candy. Those mint humbugs were very minty, and like all of us can taste <laughs> no. nothing else but mint right now. So we need a good palate cleanser next. So I think we're gonna try the Cadbury Wispa. So we do actually have Cadbury chocolate in America. We just don't have Wispa. But I think we have something similar to this, the chocolate with the holes in it. It's called like Arrow or something. Do you guys feel like you've seen yeah. something like this before? But I hear that this is very good. This is one of the favorite candies in the UK, is what I've heard. Nice. Wispa for you. Wispa for you. No Wispa for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do that. You have to be really quiet when you eat it. Uh, are you supposed oh. to do that? Are you supposed to Wispa when you eat the Wispa? Uh. <laughs> it's very light. Like... bite into it? Okay. We're all winning. Oh. <laughs> This will make all the yeah. chocolate flavor and none of the chocolate calories. Just less nothing. than the chocolate calories. I feel like it's a cheap way to make chocolate. It's just chocolate with holes in it. Make this dark chocolate and this would be my go-to. That might actually exist. I would not be surprised if there is. It might even be like a white chocolate whisper. Overall, this is good. It's a good chocolate. It's like a little bit less sweet in flavor than the chocolate we have in America, but it's really good. The holes in it just kind of make it lighter so it doesn't feel yeah. so heavy when you eat it. Light and creamy. We like the whisper. Whisper. It's chocolate with holes in it. <laughs> Whispa, a little bit less chocolate. <laughs> now this one I'm very curious about, Dolly Mix. I have never even heard of this until we went to the UK. And why is it called Dolly Mix? Does anyone know? Because when I see this, I think of, which always Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, yes. <laughs> They're little squares and they come in all kinds of different colors. Which color is the best or should we just try one of all? This is like a, just a gumdrop. Oh, weird. Huh. All right, I'll try They're this gumdrop again. Oh, mine's a little bit chewy. Mine's not. It tastes like you're eating a piece of chocolate. Yeah, most of it are the squares. This reminds me of a like a dot. We have this candy in America called dots, and that's what it tastes like to me. That really like hard, chewy consistency. I haven't tried one of the squares yet. I'm gonna try one of those. You guys wanna try a different square color or a gum drop? Yeah, I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. The squares are very hard. Is this considered like a good candy in the UK? Do you guys like that mix? This one might be my least favorite that we've had so far. I might take that over like the violet thing. I actually kind of like the Parma Violet. I did too. Yeah, I like the Violets better than the Dolly Mix, yeah. in my opinion. I would eat another Violet before I would eat another Dolly Mix. <laughs> so let's try this one. The fruit, I don't exactly know how to say this word. Is it fruit pastels? Is it fruit pastels? How do we pronounce this in the UK? Pastels. Pastels, pastels or pastels, I'm not sure. Grab a gummy, grab a gummy. Those are good. Ooh, those this are like good. Jam. This might be my favorite one we've had so far. Very like chewy, but not in a bad way. They're like easy Almost to chew like through. The... Whereas the gummies in the Dolly Mix were like really tough and hard to chew. These are nice and easy to chew. And really good flavor too. Mine tastes like a marmalade. 
I like the fruit pastels. That one's my favorite so far. Thumbs up. Yeah. Now this one, we don't have this in America, but I hear it's not necessarily exclusive to the UK. I think they have it in Australia as well. Malteser is a... These look similar to a candy that we have in America called Whoppers. So I'm guessing that's what they're gonna be like. I don't yeah. like Whoppers. I mean, nobody likes Whoppers. Yeah, nobody like Whoppers. Whoppers. <laughs> Does everyone hate Maltesers in the UK too, the way that everyone hates Whoppers? <laughs> we call them Whoppers because they're whopping big. <laughs> grab a ball, everyone like grab a ball. <laughs> Jared likes grabbing balls. Right? Uh, no, <laughs> these look like All right. I feel like these are better than a whopper. It tastes almost like like cereal on the inside. It tastes mm. like a yeah. chocolate covered cereal. Yeah. Ooh, pour that in a bowl with milk. Oh, nice. It's just breakfast. When you got an American <laughs> breakfast. We saw one of our friends eat a bowl full of Oreo cookies. Oh, yeah. With milk over the top for breakfast. That was literally his breakfast. That was, oh, I can't say his name. <laughs> We're on camera. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> My opinion is Maltesers from the UK are better than Whoppers in America. That's my opinion. I didn't think I was gonna like them. I don't think any of us did. But we're no. all like, oh, no. these aren't bad. I mean, Whopper cereal. I'm glad we tried these. I was afraid to try them because I assumed they were gonna be just like Whoppers. So I was almost like, no. eh, we could probably skip the Maltesers, but I'm glad we tried them. These are actually pretty good. All right, we tried them all. Which one was the favorite? What do you guys think? What did you like the best? The fruit pastels was my favorite. Fruit pastels were up there. Wisp was up there. I think yeah. Wisp was number one, followed by the Maltesers. 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 Yeah. Okay, so basically Maltesers. you guys like the chocolate. Your favorite was the yeah. Wisp and the Maltesers. Yeah. <laughs> what about least favorite? I'm gonna say a Dolly Mix. Dolly Mix. <laughs> Dolly mix. <laughs> Just because the texture was so hard of the squares and then the gummies were really hard to chew yeah. through. Not a lot of flavor. They kind of all just tasted like general sugar without yeah, having a lot of different so flavors. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Out of what we tried, which one would be your favorite and which one would be your least favorite? And also let us know if there's any other sweets or chocolates that we should try in the UK. Let us know and we'll try those too. I want to try more UK sweets. If you are not entirely satisfied, please return this package. Oh, you're back. <laughs> <laughs>